We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. Well, I've got to go drain the DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. Somebody insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. Ah! What the hell was that all about? Hmm, unless I miss my guess, Sybil's being pursued by some kind of rogue semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Huh. Help! Think we should try to help her? Can't think of anything better to do. It's some kind of semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Well, well, Jimmy Two Teeth. We were wondering where you'd scampered off to. What are you doing just standing there? Stop that thing! It already sucked up Big Otis and T-Bone. Miss me already, chumps? Well, I ain't coming back no matter how much you beg. The place just isn't the same without your persistent funk and wheezy snoring. Yeah, well, I'm done with that rat hole. This new place is extra classy. We're gonna do it up nice. You've got your whole family in there? My whole crew, except for Three-Eyed Lenny and the Gooch. God rest them. What happened to them? Let me just say, you don't want to be hiding out in a robot's exhaust system when it loses control of its motor functions. Holding up in a giant robot is no way to live, Jimmy. Eh, hey, you're just jealous. I hate it when he's right. There's nothing we can do to torture me Elmer that hasn't been done to him already. Yeah, we were pretty thorough last night. It's full of trash, just like the rest of our office. It's the most supportive thing in this office, now that Mr. Spatula's gone. Hi Max, it's Max, from the future. I've come back to warn you, don't forget the 12 monkeys. Also, tell Sam I said hi. What was that about? I'm making 12 monkey chili. And do you usually forget to add the monkeys? No, I just forget to peel them. Uh, this is the blood bank calling for Mr. Max. Um, thanks for your very generous donation, but we'd really prefer that people only donate their own blood. Great! Now what are we gonna do with all those buckets of sea monster blood? We could build a grotesque slip and slide. Great idea! We'll call it the birth canal! Hello, world! Uh-huh. He did? Uh-huh. That's so mean! But true. Well, gotta go, world. Call me later. Hi, uh, I'm calling to report an explosion. I don't know where. We haven't decided yet. We'll keep you posted. That's me, covering Max's eyes before we went into the Tunnel of Love. Bless you, Sam. Max's violent overthrow of the U.S. government. The first of many, I hope. Nice work, Max. So can I do you next? Thanks, but I'm not letting you anywhere near my head with those hedge clippers. Come on, you'll never feel a thing! That's what worries me. The neighborhood's held up pretty well, what with all the Bermuda Triangles and robot attacks lately. Just wait until the 80-foot-tall Lagomorph stomps its flag! You're still taking those growth supplements? Can't you tell? I really thought I could finish these. I still believe in you, Sam. 
the only thing left of Teddy Bear's mafia-free playland and casino. Or at least the only thing worth stealing. The Prismatology Blistacular Shade a Month Calendar. This month is magical! It's bad enough the TV station started showing static to cut costs, but now they're showing reruns. I haven't seen this one yet. Don't tell me how it ends! I probably shouldn't use that. It's been eating tapes, along with fingers, ties, and spicy barbecue wings. Solid as a rock and twice as heavy. Just like Max, this desk is full of handy secret compartments. That is not something I wish to discuss. That is not something I wish to discuss. Whee! I didn't realize frogs could play mariachi music. They can't. They're terrible. We're borrowing this from Santa's workshop until he gets back. When do you think he'll get out of hell? Probably right after it freezes over. Feel like smashing rats in the head? Always! That finger painting looks oddly familiar. I put it on the new dollar. And a crabby senator from Kentucky. Jimmy's old place. I'm impressed. It's even more beat up than our office. Yeah, if he thinks he's getting a security deposit back, he's crazy. The hand Jesse James used for shooting. Hey, me too! This is where we hide our urgent files until they're no longer urgent. The scariest thing about Brady Culture's hair is that it's still growing. This little bear taught us that the greatest power of all is hypnotism. Stronger than love? What do you think love is? Leonard looks surprisingly healthy for someone who's been in a closet for six months. I've been feeding him. Aw, oh, you old softy. I had to find some way to get rid of all those spiders. the former head of state. These goggles used to let us access Reality 2.0 before we broke them, and it. Hugh Bliss is as disgustingly sweet as ever. The finest in remote control fisticuffs. Sometimes I just like to look at it. I don't want to shoot my little buddy. Better not. Flint's office feels empty without him. Me too! I really love that guy. I'd hoped that after getting a punching bag for the office, Max would stop hitting me all the time. But that's how I show affection! Well, could you stop loving me so much before 6 a.m.? No way, Sam! I could never stop loving you! I think that coat rack's trying to make a break for it! Very, very, very slowly. I hate to say this, but I can't think of a single reason for us to be in here. Steven Spielberg might call about a movie option. Yep, there's pretty much no reason to stay here at all. What about inertia? The whole wide world is composed of places outside of our office. Yet here we stand. Think of it as an exercise in the application of free will. You know how I feel about exercise. Sometimes detective work is like pulling teeth. That's fair. Sometimes pulling teeth is like detective work. Sometimes detective work is like an overripe banana. Me too! Sometimes detective work is like a hypoglycemic weasel with a wooden leg. I know exactly what you mean. I was right the first time. Sometimes detective work is like pulling teeth. Someone else's teeth, sure. Let's go. Great! Two 
Too bad this only protects your car from meter maids and not giant robots, carnivorous plants, or vengeful spirits. You park in this neighborhood, you take your chances. It's some kind of semi-sentient interdimensional portal. What is it with mysterious portals lately? Sybil's not that mysterious once you get to know her. I don't even want to know what you think I meant. Anyway, we should probably save her from the rampaging triangle thingy. Yeah, we might need her later. You're still the president, right? Can't you get an urban renewal squad down here to fix the pavement? I don't sully myself with local matters. They're bad for the skin. Let's get cracking. Certainly. Christmas saved. Santa pronounced dead at the scene. He's not dead, just in hell. Probably best if we let the kids just think he's dead. Parakeet revolution quelled. But I suspect the pigeons are still planning a coup. Bosco's covered his windows in tinfoil. I guess the hat wasn't enough. Better not. No matter how many fires we cause, this baby keeps putting them out. Yeah, and without complaining about it. Not like all those uppity firefighters. Hey Bosco, what do you know about suddenly appearing interdimensional portals? I hear a lot of things. What does it look like? Three sides, reddish, chasing Sybil. Oh, what you've got there is a Bermuda Triangle. Of course. Why didn't we think of that? Wait! Chasing Sybil? You mean it's here? Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. What's the Bermuda Triangle doing all the way up here? Sometimes they just like to wander. Unless it was summoned by T-H-E-M. Who summoned the Triangle here? I told you! T-H-E-M! I really hope you're talking about the giant ants this time. Giant ants? That's crazy. I'm talking about the mysterious cabal of controllers who summon the triangles as sentient portals to do their dark bidding. Well, that makes sense. If there's a triangle in our neighborhood, that means they're coming! Why does the Bermuda Triangle have such a grudge against all those boats and planes? Oh, the triangle got a bad rap for that. Scientists say those accidents were caused by sudden, explosive outbursts of methane gas. Speaking of which... Max, don't. What, Sam? I was going to point out that many phenomena long believed to have paranormal causes have actually turned out to be far more mundane in origin. Only one phenomenon's tremendous power continues to baffle scientists and defy rational explanation. What's that? <laughs> Why has the triangle got you so spooked? It's a bad omen, guys! They're coming for us! I'm going to work even harder to get my emergency bunker in shape, and I recommend you two do the same. Is our emergency bunker in shape, Max? It sags a little, but you try looking that good after two kids in a Y2K scare. How do we help Sybil? Once a triangle gets imprinted on you, it's tough to shake it. But they say you can train them if you can figure out how to communicate with them. How do we communicate with the Triangle? They're very attracted to symbols and sigils. And sibyls, apparently. Those too. They're not real picky. They're driven by shapes and colors. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50s. A red octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. And they can't see or hear, so you've got to feed them a symbol of what you want them to do. How do we communicate with the triangle again? They can't see or hear, so you've got to feed them a symbol of the right shape and color. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50s. A red octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. We'd like to buy something. I told you fools last time, the store is closed. But I've been craving a pack of beef tarts for weeks now. It's the delicious tangy candy that makes its own gravy. Help us out, Bosco. Stop wasting my time. 
I'll never get the bunker ready if you two keep jabbering at me. You can't close the store, Bosco. Everything we value was bought or shoplifted from here. Don't you see? The end is nigh! Nigh? Yes, nigh! Wandering Bermuda Triangles, strange radio transmissions. Don't you see? It's T-H-E-M! They're coming! I have to relocate before it's too late! Where are you planning to go? Oh, you'd like me to tell you where my emergency bunker is. No chance. You'll have to stop goofing off and build your own. It's just like the fable of the grasshopper and the ant. If the ant were a paranoid lunatic. And the grasshoppers too, come to think of it. Not that we're planning to hide in it, but uh, where's your emergency bunker, Bosco? For the last time. My secret bunker's secret location is a secret! Keep watching the skies, Bosco. Always! Bet you can't tell where all these shots were taken from. Bet ya I don't care. Max Impeachment Weekly, Volumes 14, 15, and 16. Volume 17 comes out next week! No X-rays this time. Better not. Hey! Oh, stop it! Watch out! Put that away! What are you doing? He's a crazy man! He'll kill us all! You'll be the death of us all! Don't make me come over there! He's got a gun and he doesn't know how to use it! Why did I ever get rid of b -tans? It's a combination shredder, incinerator, compactor, and humidifier. Big deal. So am I. These weenies come pre-jerked. Hey, Bosco, why do you need a periscope? I don't. As long as this store stays above water. Why wouldn't it? Never you mind about that. And if we start to dive, don't let the pressure doors hit you on the way out. Bomb be gone because some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Tell me about it. I've got 10,000 nukes and Congress won't even let me use one of them. What were you going to blow up? Congress. Hey, Max, remember Banang, the painfully strong banana-flavored drink mix? Sure. It's been off the market for 10 years and I still can't get it out of my mind. Or my kidneys. Get your paws off that. It's all for the secret bunker. I was going to make a pun about a developing situation, but I thought better of it. I always thought enlargers would be smaller. It's a combination microwave and x-ray machine. Perfect! Now we can see what's living inside the burrito and then watch it die! Do you think we should have our own master plan? Not having a master plan is a master plan, Sam. What are you listening to? Don't touch that! That's my only contact with T-H-E-M! What are you listening to? Don't touch that! That's... It's like looking into Bosco's brain. Wanna bet? Not this time, little buddy. Hey look, it's our old friend Hepatitis A. And Giardia, we haven't seen you guys in years. Wow, has it been that long since we ate here? Can this tell the difference between earthquakes and zombie uprisings? What do you think earthquakes are, fool? Whee! That would be a good way to lose a hand. I've seen better. Amazing! There's a perfectly preserved squirrel and a bunch of imperfectly preserved popsicles. Bosco Tech Cryogenic Chamber and Ice Cube Maker. This place gets creepier by the minute. Like Geraldo! But with less air. I think we'll be safe in here. Only if you're talking about the triangle thingy. What good is a shopkeeper who won't sell you anything? Not much. He's basically just an impediment to effective shop uh, borrowing at that point. Let's do some browsing. My second favorite ousing activity after dousing. We've learned the hard way that tinfoil hats aren't much good against mind control, or battle axes. But they're a great defense against working microwaves.
Where are we going, Sam? Uh, never mind. As we found out last year, at the underwear exchange, it's a lot better to give than to receive. Speak for yourself. I like meeting new fungi. Hey, the Castrati Club is recruiting again. I thought I heard more screaming than usual last night. Maybe it's time we stopped fighting an unwinnable war. No way, Sam! I won't rest until we've defeated gravity once and for all! Fix-it tips in the aftermath of a giant robot rampage. Give me time to read it. Okay. Sybil's office is closed. What does she do now, anyway? I don't know, but whatever it is, she's doing even less of it than usual. Howdy, cops. How's the auto body business? Hello! We're working on... <coughs> Hello! We're working on the most... <coughs> Please calm down, lady! We're sorry. We cannot handle your request until you've taken care of the noise problem. Hey, cops. We're sorry. We cannot handle your request until you've taken care of the noise problem. Stupid spot! Hiya, Stinky. Oh, it's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use... bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. It looks like somebody already had a slice. That explains all those ambulances this morning. And the screaming. What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood! You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa, Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, intrigue! Oh, this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie Italiano. Well, that does sound tasty. Whatever happened to the original Stinky anyway? He retired, went on an around the world cruise. Stinky hated traveling. And water. And the world! Yeah, well, he must have changed his mind. So are you two going to order anything? What's Flint Paper doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. He's been here all morning. Nervous about having a trio of ace detectives snooping into your little scheme, lady? Oh, don't be silly. I just have to move some things out of the meat locker. But I can't if I keep having to refill his java and empty his ashtray. Next time you hear from him, tell Grandpa Stinky we said hello. Oh, I don't think we'll be hearing from him ever again. Because you sent him on a permanent vacation? No, because he was a cheapskate and I refuse collect calls. What is it with you guys? A rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. Triangle? <laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialized in the more circular interdimensional portals. Some expert! Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. Any ideas to help Sybil? Drop that Lincoln guy like a bad habit. We meant more short-term, but thanks. What's the special today? Oh, it's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. We're ready to order. We'd like the special. Sure, granite sandwich coming right up. I wanted the other special. Oh, sorry. That's for kids only. <laughs> FDA regulations. Max would like the kids' special. That's for kids only. But I have a childlike sense of wonder. Hey, I don't make the rules. We want the green salad, extra smoky, with a side of cracked nuts. Sal, the Jack Nicholson with Dennis Hopper and Gary Busey. Could we have the grilled cheese with Tabasco and a side of curly fries? Sal, I need Diane Sawyer with the flamethrower hopped up on goofballs. Ooh, so do I. We'd like the soft-boiled eggs on waffles, with coffee, extra cream. Sal, 
get me Scooter Livy on a glockenspiel with Mike Tyson singing alto. I'll have the deep fried devil dogs with a diet drink, and Max will have the salad plate with extra blue cheese. Sal, half a Jack Black with a supersized Kira Knightley in deep denial. On second thought, I'm not that hungry. If you say so. Bye, Stinky. Stinky's trademark granite sandwich. Nothing doing. Lake Titicaca. That can't be real. The Philippines. Come for the cockfighting. Stay for the chicken. West Dakota. Wizards really made his mark. This your pipe, Stinky? Yes. I looted it from the corpse of a 50-foot Sherlock Holmes. It's a gong with no gonger. Where's J.P. Morgan when you need her? I don't have any quarters. No problem. The jukebox only takes 20s. Where's the band? I keep hiring drummers, but they keep combusting. And not slowly over time, either. Spontaneously. Keep on trucking. Love, Mother T. Not pictured, his right hand. Peace, love, and all that hoo-ha. Gandhi. Hey, Gabe Kaplan. Whatever happened to him? He's been masquerading as Gene Shallot, apparently. Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. It doesn't need a gardener. It needs a plastic surgeon. It's locked. Or someone's holding it shut from the inside. I love your optimism, Max. I don't know which is scarier, the idol or the cowboy hat he's wearing. They're nice snowshoes, but I wear 11s, and those look like a size 10 and a half. Who is this J.H.C. fellow? Look, Max, it's our neighbor, Flint Paper. Hiya, fellas. Keep it on the down low, would you? I'm doing surveillance. Oh, boy. Real detective work. Who are you spying on? Some mug name of Bosco. Why are you checking out Bosco, Flint? For a client, Samo. Said she was the poor chump's mom. She was a real no-nonsense dame, with legs up to here. Hairy legs, but still. How goes the stakeout? Getting interesting, fellas. Bosco may be on the move. Yeah? He's acting awful suspicious. Oh, that's just Bosco. How's the stakeout going, Flint? Shh, this is make or break time, boys. He could hightail it out of here at any second. Stinky's has a no-smoking-unless-you're-flint policy. Sounds a lot like their policy on homicides. You know, we run into Wizard all the time. I'm sure you do. Mangy lying dog. We can use this to look into our future. Cool! What do you see? Nothing. I guess we haven't got any future. Oh well, it's been fun. He looks like kind of a wuss, for a shark. Maybe that's why he's hanging on the wall at Stinky's now, instead of prying open a diving cage in the South Pacific. What did Clark Gable order? Six buckets of pomade and a side of fries. Stop. But what if I don't feel like stopping? Then our insurance rates go up again. Sadly, I think my days of pillaging coastal villages are now behind me. I don't think we'll need that until global warming gets much, much worse. It'll take more than that to turn this restaurant around. That's one ugly-looking Buddha. Correction! That's two ugly-looking Buddhas! The fedora never goes out of style. Or further out of style. How come jackalopes get to grow antlers, but I can't? Millions of years of evolution, I guess. Who's got that kind of time? Jackalopes, apparently. I don't know how to tell you this, Max, but 
I think this new so-called stinky imposter murdered the real stinky. Well, duh! We'll have to keep an eye on her. Want me to break your legs so you can convalesce in an apartment across the street while I occasionally flit in wearing diaphanous gowns and discuss the case as a metaphor for our relationship? Hmm, I'm trying to think of a much stronger word for no. How do you think Stinky got rid of the body? The pie does look a little whiskery today. You'd think the Board of Health would do something about this place. Or PETA, or Greenpeace, Amnesty International, the Red Cross, the WHO, the ACLU, the CDC, or the Vatican! Greenpeace was here last week, but they had trouble dragging the boats along the sidewalk. Have you ever tried Stinky's coffee? I use it to degrease the pistons in my Wii. Well, that sounds more disgusting than it really is. Like Shia LaBeouf! Feel like stopping for a bite to eat, Max? Sure! Sybil's a fast runner. She'll be alright out there for a while. It's fascinating how other people's problems fade away the minute a door shuts between you. I'm out of things to say. And I'm out of minty-flavored toothpicks! Excuse me while I look for some. Nah. No way. Ah! Oh, oh, it stopped. Well, there's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right, Sybil? My whoa. What's happening? I regret nothing! Abe, no! Be strong, my marble darling! I'll save you! As I was saying, there's another case solved. And with minimal casualties. What do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You want to jump in? You can read my mind, Sam! God, I hope not! tropical than I imagined a horrific alternate dimension to be. Help! Help me! Help! Oh, you big baby. But my nose sunburns so easily. I'll get it for you later. Oh, hi, Sam and Max. Are you guys on vacation, too? Vacation? We came here to rescue you from unimaginable horrors beyond the portal of mystery. You could have at least had the courtesy to be impaled on spikes or something. Step aside, Harvey. You're blocking my tan. Well, thanks for the thought, guys. But this place is great. What was the name of it again? Rapa Nui? Rapa Nui! The crux of all paranormal activity in the South Pacific, commonly known as Easter Island. Because once you leave, three days later you can't wait to come back. Abe and I thought this would be a great chance to get some alone time. Emphasis on alone. Ah, finally, someone has come to rescue us from the ancient prophecy. Oh, they talk? Uh-oh, Sam. Ancient prophecies can only mean two things. Tedious backstories and work we don't get paid for. Let's hear them out, little buddy. Well, all right. Maybe these giant stone heads have something interesting to say. What's all this about a prophecy? The Ancient One said this was going to happen. It's the end of our civilization. But you can stop the prophecy and save us all. 
What exactly does this prophecy say is going to happen? The Carvers foretold a golden age of 1,000 years of peace. And then, a terrible cataclysm! The great volcano god Ranakau would reawaken and rain fiery death upon the island. Our noble civilization would come to an end! Hot damn! Sounds like we picked the coolest time to come. What do you want us to do? You must stop Ranakau from erupting and destroying us all! <laughs> Legends speak of a hidden cave beneath the island where the ancient carvers built a means to pacify the volcano god. In the mood for a little spelunking and volcano god pacifying, little buddy? If by pacifying you mean squeezing the magma out of him like toothpaste from a savagely beaten tube, and by spelunking you mean spelunking, then yes! We'll take the case. Your Honor. What does that mean? Like the Hawaiian word aloha, it can mean many things like hello, goodbye, or as in this case, we're not going to pay you. Deadbeat really is the universal language. Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basalt brownies in there, but the volcano eruption and the end of civilization are the most interesting parts. How about us? Does the prophecy mention us? Uh, not that I recall. Oh, there's the creation of the world. Then nothing until the iPod, followed by the fall of civilization. Not even a passing reference? <laughs> oh, right. There is that bit about the coming of the shoeless dog and the horrifying mouth that walks who would appear in the final days to wreak mayhem on the island. Mm -hmm. I knew it! That makes an even dozen, doesn't it, Sam? At least. What Paris Hilton is to celebrity gossip blogs, Max is to ancient prophecies of the apocalypse. Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basalt brownies in there, but the volcano eruption and the end of civilization are the most interesting parts. Who are you guys, anyway? We are the Moai, guardians of the island spirit, keepers of the elemental power. Sounds like either a good prog rock album or a bad animated series. I control the power of wind. Get out! Well, I used to control the wind. Now there's not much point to it. If you control the wind, let's see a demonstration. Uh. I'm not really in the mood. Not in the mood? Come on, blow us up a typhoon. I guess I've just got a case of the blahs. I don't know. Come on, blow us up a typhoon. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your stone slabs together and blow. Eh, I'm not really in the mood. Where is this ancient hidden underground cave? It's hidden. Cool it, Rocky. We were asking the middle one. Unfortunately, he is correct. The entrance to the cave is shrouded in mystery, and the path is fraught with peril. Fraught with peril, or just rife with peril? This is the kind of thing we need to know going in. It doesn't matter, you'll never find it. What's the deal with all these triangles? The ancients used them to transport the sacred stones, and to travel all throughout the world. And for practical jokes, which weren't funny. Have you heard the good news about rhinoplasty? What are you implying? Oh, nothing! It's good you're not bound by the conventions of traditional beauty. I'm just the way the carvers made me. What do you guys do for fun around here? There's not much for us to do except keep watch over the island and wait for our inevitable destruction. <laughs> oh yes, and games of I Spy, of course. It's a palm tree. It's always a palm tree. Cheer up. Max and I will find a way to stop that volcano. Oh good. Then we'll be able to go back to our important work of sitting motionless and staring. At least we have something to look forward to. Hello, we're Sam and Max, freelance police. What do you do? 
Have the duty to the steel. What was that? I can't understand you. I said, and the duty of the steel. Still can't understand you. Speak a little more clearly. I said, ah! You'd probably make more friends if you'd just enunciate more clearly. You seem irritable. Want to talk about it? It's nothing. I just didn't mean this. How's that dirt tasting? How's that dirt tasting? Why the long face? It's just that we've been here for so long and there's so little for us to do. I have to question the soul-crushing bleakness of our existence, and... Oh, wait. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Took him long enough to catch on. The way that sob story was going, I thought he was about to show us baby pictures and have us sign his yearbook. Not cool. Do you believe in all this prophecy of destruction, mumbo-jumbo? Of course I do! I can feel Rana Cow's anger rumbling even now! Me too, Sam! I think those tamales from Stinky's are repeating on me. Ah, scatological humor. Very classy. Cheer up, pal. So, your civilization is coming to a fiery, cataclysmic end. Don't sweat it. I'm glad you can joke about the end of our civilization. I don't find it particularly funny. Lighten up, buddy. We're just trying to entertain the good people. Yeah, if you just smile, it'd draw attention away from your prominent brow ridge. So you're back to making fun of my appearance, hmm? Very original. What's your story? If you must know, I am the keeper of the power of Earth. Sounds neat. Why don't you give us a demonstration? I'm not going to unleash the tremendous power of the Earth God on just a whim. If we're going to help you with your volcano problem, the least you could do is shake things up a bit. This isn't some game! I wasn't granted elemental powers just to amuse you. Are we gonna have to dig this guy up to get the stick out of his butt? He wasn't always like this. There was a time, centuries ago, when the ground would shake with his laughter. And there was a time when you didn't need a sandblaster to fit in your ceremonial dress. That was uncalled for. What's the problem, Mac? Stop being so uptight and give us a demonstration. I'm not in the mood. Get lost. What's the problem, Mac? I'm not in the mood. Get lost. Hey, how many volcano gods does it take to screw in a light bulb? Hackneyed and blasphemous. Sheesh! Tough island. Here's a good one. A Frenchman, a German, and a Maori are in a hot dog eating contest. Don't bother. He hasn't laughed in over 500 years. They just don't write comedy like they used to. Relax, pal. You're gonna turn to diamond if you don't unclench. It's not my fault you two aren't funny. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Is that supposed to be funny? Better not. You know what would cheer you up? A granite sandwich. A granite sandwich? That's the best you can do? Apparently your taste in cuisine is as refined as your sense of humor. I don't know about you, Sam, but I'm ready to chisel this guy a new one. Want a granite sandwich? No, thanks. I stopped eating those in grade school. Want a delicious sandwich? No, thank you. I'm watching my figure. You're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Want a delicious sandwich? Oh, good. Open your mouth! Oh, right, you can. <laughs> this sandwich sure does look delicious. Check this out, Max. It's a gong with a silver triangle on it. 
I don't think we've ever tried to stop a volcano before. Not unless you count that time in the Philippines. I hope the volcano gods here are friendlier than the ones in the Philippines. Don't worry about it. We're on the opposite side of the international dateline. Why am I not encouraged? If it's the Bermuda Triangle, why does it go to Easter Island? That's not even in the same ocean. Maybe it comes here for vacation, like everybody else. Preposterous, but logical as always, chum. There's nothing like a secluded tropical island for a little R&R, is there? Sure, if you like sunshine and umbrella drinks. If I remember right, Easter Island is notorious for having suffered massive deforestation at the hands of its inhabitants, followed by constant warfare and cannibalism that drove them nearly to extinction. Now you're talking! Let's take in some sights. Or vice versa. Check this out, Max. Check this out, Max. It's the Fountain of Youth. Make a wish, Sam! I wish there wasn't a deadly piranha swimming in it. I never wished that about anything! It's the Fountain of Youth, complete with deadly piranha. You know, Sam, they say a piranha can completely skeletonize a cow in just under two minutes. Amateur. It's a gong with a gold triangle on it. The only thing that survived from the SS Minnow. Did they ever find all those irritating castaways? Nobody ever looked. Look at all this junk that's been sucked into the Bermuda Triangle. Anything good? Want to read the second half of the Twenty Commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. Let's see what else is in here. Hey, Jane Austen's lower jaw. Don't get too excited. We're still two tibias shy of a complete set. Hmm. Leonardo da Vinci's sketches of a cold fusion reactor. A fully playable beta of Sam and Max freelance police. A cure for polo. I think you mean polio. And what's so bad about polio? Nothing but junk. What's left of Noah's Ark? So the legends are true! Someone really was crazy enough to save mosquitoes from extinction. And humans. Live and learn. How's the vacation going? Oh, the weather's perfect. And there's so much history and culture. The best part is that Abe and I finally get some time all to ourselves. With no distractions. Isn't that right, Abe? Abe? What? Oh yeah, right. Culture. Have you met any of the locals? Not yet. I wanted to explore more of the island, but Abe wanted to stay here. The view's so much nicer here. Er, of the ocean, I mean. Did you know that the native language has over 50 words for boredom? I'm not bored. Surrounded by such beauty. Oh, Abe. Just between the four of us. Those Moai statues are real jerks. Now you just shut your mouth. Abe, I agree, Sam. They're all so sullen and moody. Right, because you're never moody. I wish these Moai guys would stop being so depressing. I've seen teenagers stuffed in lockers who are less emo than these guys. You're just too shallow to understand them. The volcano's going to erupt in a deadly rain of fiery magma. Aren't you worried? Are you sure you're a dog? Because you sound like a big chicken. Oh, be nice, Abe. Well, if it looks like the volcano's going to blow, we'll just hop back through the triangle. Wanna help us stop the volcano? <coughs> Sam, please. We'll help you with your little adventures when we're not on vacation. Have fun, kids. Don't wait up! <laughs> How did you find picnic stuff on a desolate island? Easy. It was all in the picnic basket. So long, you two. Better not. 
No, that's been done. Nope. So far I haven't seen a hidden underground cave anywhere. Want a delicious sandwich? I can't. I'm going swimming later. Nuh-uh. Hey, Sam, look! Clues! Hmm, my wilderness tracking skills have gotten rusty, but something tells me this just might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the Volcano God. Where do you two think you're going? Oh, Sam, he's got a little gun! Isn't he the cutest thing? Can we keep him? Try not to get imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little type belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody! You can't be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s, known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby! Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. I should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. What fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac! You expect us to believe the fountain of youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it! I can't believe how perfect he is! You've been hitting the fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his fountain of youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does! Yes, he does! A little bit, a little bit. Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no problem, so don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada-bing! Step aside, sport. We grown-ups have to take care of a great big mean old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. Oh, look, he's trying to intimidate us. He's just... Perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, Sam? My biological clock is ticking and I'm not getting any younger. Playtime is over, son. We've got important work to do. I'm expanding my enterprises back here, and I'd hate for either of you to get hurt in the construction. We'll take that risk. We're freelance police. Freelancers? That's worse than scabs. <laughs> Is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it! I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. How can we find out? Is baby gassy? Does baby need to be burped? Get out of here! We'll give you a nice big rattle for that dumb old gun of yours. You two are seriously trying my patience. Sam, let's teach him the wrong words for things. We're going bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. Don't insult me. Jimmy Hoffa don't eat nothing unless it's made by a union cook. What if we pick off the non-union parts? Nothing doing. No siree. Try it, Pooch. You feeling lucky? Not particularly. Looks like we've stumbled into some primitive tiki bar, Max. Woo! Spring break! Woo! Pipe down, chucklehead. Oh, I was hoping to get into a Lagomorph's Gone Wild video. Howdy, boys. Haven't seen you around before. Sam, they're all babies! Stay calm, Max. They're more frightened of you than you are of them. Hiya, fellas. What brings you to our little slice of paradise? Sam and Max, freelance police, ma'am. And we're here to stop a volcano. You babies are in danger. Shut up! We're not babies. God! <laughs> He's right. Pleased to meet you, boys. 
Don't be fooled by the diapers. We've been around the block a few times. My name's Amelia Earhart. You've already met Mr. Charles Lindbergh, Jr. Whatever. And that other fella is one Mr. Dan Cooper. Hey, how y'all doing? Call me DB. Everybody does. Did y'all fly out here? Woohoo! What gives? You guys have been missing for decades. That's the funny thing about this island. It's easy to lose track of time. You don't call, you don't write. You've had conspiracy theorists and documentary filmmakers worried sick. Whatever. You can't tell us what to do. Why haven't you gone home? And ruin a clean getaway? Heck no. They don't understand me at home. My parents are so stupid. And I made a drink order in 1973. I'm not leaving until I get some service. You look younger than in your pictures. It's that dang fountain. And once you start drinking from it, you can't stop. We had to put the fountain off limits, or we would have drunk ourselves out of existence. Ironic, ain't it? I made my reputation being a woman unafraid to wear pants, and now I'm wearing rubber pants. It must have been a big adjustment going back to wearing diapers. Oh, not for me. When you're in my line of work, it helps to have some extra protection, if you know what I'm saying. Did I ever tell y'all about how I dodged them feds and jumped out of a jumbo? Only like a million times. How'd you manage to all regress to exactly the same age? It was a very carefully planned and executed drinking game. You take a drink every time DB says the word parachute. What do you guys do for fun around here? We used to ride the bucking surfboard until we drank ourselves under the height limit. Dang, that son of a bee was a hoot and a half! Give me a few more years and I'll beat your record, Amelia! See you around, kids. Hey, Max, want to see how I won all those surfing trophies back in school? No, I don't want to see you cry to the P.E. teacher and then beg me to club your competitors in the knees. Why? Oh, you're just jealous of my more plausible center of gravity. Watch this. Watch out for flying bottles! You lost, Sam! True surfers don't lose, pal. We just bide our time and hop on the next wave. True surfers don't flail their arms and shriek like startled raccoons, either. I'm pretty sure you lost. Prepare to have your socks knocked off, little pal. I don't wear socks, Sam. Just humor me. I feel better pretending that you're not naked. Ride it. Hi, six moon doggy. Watch out for flying bottles. Radical. Hot dang. Well, that was entirely pointless. No, they look like they're still eating soft food. I'm not going to shoot a baby. Why would you? It's so much easier to just give him a plastic bag. I don't hate him, just his music. Hiya, boys. You're new here, right? Sam and Max, freelance volcano stoppers. Well, gosh, I'm glad to meet you. <laughs> I, I'm Glenn Miller. Well, maybe you boys can help me out. You're a missing person? We thought you were dead. Yeah, I get that a lot. I was here 20 years before I believed I wasn't really dead. <laughs> Hated to break it to you, Glenn, but all that hot playing was getting annoying. How'd you end up here? I was on a, a mission for the Air Force, and, and I flew here. You mean your plane was sucked through a portal into an alternate dimension and deposited here? No, just got kind of lost and crashed on Easter Island. You ever get a, a song stuck in your head and you can't get it out? It's downright distracting. Why didn't you ever go back home? I can't go back now without a big comeback hit. It, it'd be anticlimactic. What do you need help with? Well, I, I'm trying to find just that, that perfect sound for my next big hit. Oh, is that all? Well, gee, thanks, but 
I don't want to just put out a repeat of my early stuff. It's got to be new and fresh. But I'm stuck on, on two things. I need a catchy melody and I need a good train sound. You need a melody and a train whistle for your song? Oh, you bet. I'm pulling out all the stops. This song's going to be about all the things the kids are into these days. Trains, and sock hops, swing dancing, methamphetamines. But how are we going to find a new melody? You've been here 60 years and haven't been able to. Give me a break, guys. I'm teething. Baby Lindbergh baby tells me that that electronic music is popular now. Maybe I should try that. You need a melody and a train whistle for your song? You bet. Ooh, ooh. Nice try, fellas, but it's a little pitchy. Give me a good melody and a convincing train sound and we'll be all set. What's Benny Goodman like in person? Well, Benny could do things with a clarinet that nobody else could. Well, thank God, hey, uh, one night after a show in New York, well, well, I'll just tell you it was the damnedest thing I ever saw and, and leave it at that. Well, there's a lady present. Was Count Basie really a vampire? A golem, actually, but we never held that against it. Those were simpler times. Keep on rocking, Glenn. Word. If I had a hammer... Oh, you can take that mallet if you want. I was going to use it for percussion, but uh, I decided to go in a different direction. Hmm. Any direction that doesn't involve hitting things with hammers is no direction I want to go. Thank you and good day, sir. Where did you find so many femurs? My old horn section. Say hello to Jack, Don, and Rochester. That's awful. Oh, tell me about it. Well, these guys still can't hold the high notes. Gruesome. My old horn section. It's an empty tea kettle. Tempest not included. It's a swing town inferno. Nothing says remote tropical island like the kettle drum. Except dysentery. Alas, Gene Krupa. I knew him. I better not. Last time I played the bongo, I started a bloody decades-long tribal war. Best open mic night ever! Not happening. Nothing doing. He's in the band. He doesn't get free drinks. I don't want to put out the fire. They've already got their drinks. No siree. Hey, Max. Yo! Now, this place is pretty nice, isn't it, Max? I'm nervous, Sam. What if the paparazzi get a picture of me hanging out in a <laughs> baby bar? Think of the rumors! I still say this is a nice bar. Eh, the Tiki Crib across town has a ball pit and a changing table. Aren't people here phony? I don't know. That Earhart chick's got it going on. I'm gonna try and get her number. Will you be my wingman? Max, that's wrong on more levels than I can count. See anything that will help us stop that volcano, Max? Well, we could make a human sacrifice. These guys don't deserve that kind of treatment. Okay, fine. Canine sacrifice. It's nice getting some R&R away from the office. 
As long as you mean running away from the deadly volcano and renal failure as you're burned by lava and suffocated by ash. Talk to you later. Call me! Nuh-uh. Want a drink, Mr. Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa cannot accept a drink from non-union waitstaff. Do you want it in your sippy cup? I want it served by a dues-paying member of the waitresses' union. How do we get into the waitresses' union? Fortunately for you, I am the union leader and also dues collector. Yeah, yeah. I know a setup when I see one. I suppose you want a favor to let us in the union. Prove you can keep from spilling on the paying customers. Take a tray of drinks and ride the bucking surfboard without dropping anything. Let's see if I can balance this on the bucking surfboard. It's a glass of water. We give up. Don't give me that. We need more people in the waitresses' union. If you can balance that tray while riding the bucking surfboard without dropping anything, I'll consider your union application. Want a drink, Symbol? No thanks. I haven't found a restroom on this island. No way. What's left of Noah's Ark? What do you know about Easter Island? Why? Who told you to ask me that? Just some guy outside in a black suit and sunglasses. Seem to know a lot about you, Bosco. They're getting closer! Bosco, has the water been tasting funny to you? You noticed it too? Ever since we saw those government guys working on the pipes down the street. It tastes like control and makes me want to pay taxes. Good thing I distill, sanitize, and recycle my own water. You know anything about those black helicopters hovering outside? Stop trying to freak me out, fools. I'm busy. Hey, Bosco. Did you know you're being watched? Do you guys even know me? Of course I know that. No, we mean right now. From inside Stinkies. Y'all just trying to make me paranoid. You think I don't have a camera inside Stinkies? I'd know if I was being watched. Where's the camera? It's genius. Hidden inside the pie that nobody ever eats. Oops. By the way, tell Stinky her place would look a lot better if she didn't have that big black lump in the booth that looks like a small intestine. See you, Bosco. Not for long. Get away from me!
Howdy, cops. Anything new in the auto body business? Do you want to have ladies love you and men want to be you? Naturally. Make that dream a reality with our brand new car horn. With a captivating melody composed by our resident musical maestro. OFG want one! Alright, enough with the sales pitch. How much? It is not for sale. Denied! We're sorry. The Synthotronic Audio Enhancer is available exclusively to beta testers of our new augmented reality game. How things been in the neighborhood? Noisy! There has been a dramatic increase in folk instrument related automobile accidents. Oh right, the 10,000 man Scottish polka march is in town this week. My favorite time of year. The streets are filled with accordions and bagpipes stacked like so much cordwood. We hate bagpipes! We'd like to pimp out our car. We want some 18-inch Blitz Type 4s, a 6-valve PTX chrome intake, double-injected Gunther regulators on the back 10, and some neon on the undertow that flashes Morse code saying, Check it out, biatch! All we have is the car horn. Sweet! The Synthotronic Audio Enhancer is available exclusively to beta testers of our new augmented reality game. We'd like some of those decorative decals. Simply destroy rare objects on the road, and if we deem them worthy, we shall award you a commemorative decal, free of charge. Tell us about this new game you're working on. That is correct. It will revolutionize the entire industry. A music-based video game. Boom! We are sorry. Did we just blow your mind? Sounds fun. I don't like to brag, but my prowess at Banjo Legend Extreme is pretty renowned throughout the Tri-State area. And I've been banned from 27 local arcades for playing Forbidden Dance Insurrection in ways the designers never intended. Does not compute. You are saying that music video games already exist? FAILURE! Do you guys know anything about Easter Island? Accessing Ellipsis Easter Island was founded in 1914 by former members of the ATS Progressive Rock Band Asia. Located off the southwest coast of your mom, the island is considered by many to be the birthplace of television personality Ryan Seacrest, as well as American jazz music. I see you're still doing all your research on the internet. Information wants to be wrong! Do you know anything about missing persons? Have you tried looking on Easter Island? Most end up there. How do you stop a rampaging volcano god? I love that joke. Get me every time! How do we play this game of yours? In a world where folk music instruments litter the mean streets, your mission is clear. Destroy all the bagpipes! Bagpipe Obliteration Ultimate! Don't we have to destroy the bagpipes at the right time, earning more points the closer we get to being in rhythm with the soundtrack? That's way too complicated! Calculating that would require processing power far beyond error, not a number. Just destroy all the bagpipes to win our exclusive new car horn! We hate bagpipes! Would you like to play our game? Let's do it! Hello, and welcome to the Pimp the Car Music Challenge. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Bring the noise! Thanks to advances in nanotechnology and the dark arts, you can now drive using in addition to your mouse. Ready? Go!
Congratulations! You are a winner! Congratulations! You've won the exclusive Templar Car Audio Enhancement Accessory! Amaze your friends! Be sure to come back soon and play again. But, but Sam! Don't worry, Max. I'll put it back before we go cruising again. Not happening. Nah. Hey cops, what's new? No one's overrated! We'd like to play your game again. Obliterate the bagpipes to win fabulous prizes! With my driving skills and your dead weight, we're gonna have the most tricked out car in the neighborhood. I just like to win things. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Congratulations! You are a winner! Would you like to try again? Of course. We're just getting warmed up. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Congratulations! You are a winner! Would you like to try again? Yes. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Congratulations! You are a winner! Would you like to try again? 
Of course. We're just getting warmed up. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Would you like to quit the driving challenge? Yes. You just earned a free decal! Free decal awarded. Decal for you! Congratulations, you've earned every decal currently in stock! You rock! You win the big honkin' mystery prize. Thanks, guys. You make the best completely worthless upgrades around. Whee! Hi, Stinky. What? Oh. Looks like somebody already had a slice. That explains all those ambulances this morning. And the screaming. No way. Nope. Hmm, nothing happened. Why doesn't Stinky's gong work like the ones on Easter Island? That volcano threatening to obliterate Easter Island sure seems insignificant now that it's half a world away. I think you just encapsulated my whole foreign policy in a single sentence! I'm out of things to say. Nothing but junk. The fire's not intense enough to boil the water. The Passive Fire. Ingredients, kerosene, pepper spray, dihydrocapsaicin, and wasabi. Water. Ingredients, artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and water. The Diaper Rash. Ingredients, bourbon, guava juice, mint, and talcum powder. Pardon me, boy. Was that the Rapa Nui Choo Choo? No, it's just an eerily accurate simulacrum of a train whistle we constructed out of everyday household items. Don't say simulacrum. Well, that's perfect. That's just the sound I need for my big hit. Well, now I'm just stuck on the melody. H help me with that, would you? It's a tea kettle filled with water. Fire and alcohol work great together. Makes sense. They're the two most destructive forces on Earth. Present company excluded. Hey, Glenn, listen to this action. That, that's fantastic. Who wrote it? Bring it with you so I can work with him full time. I don't think he'd like it here. No outlets. Well, in any case, that's the perfect melody for my new hit. 
Let's get started making musical history, boys. There's a demo on that conch shell. This is gonna be huge. Are we going to get a producer credit? Talk to my agent. It's a recording of the latest toe-tapping Glenn Miller tune in a decorative shell. Now, he's already got his own copy. How's progress going on your song? Oh, that. I released it already. That was fast. Digital distribution, boys. The hard part is fitting DRM into the conch shell. Was your song a big hit? Well, Spin said it was hopelessly dated, and Blender called it Chattanooga doo-doo. <laughs> so you decided to update your sound? No, I decided to say, screw those guys. What they know about music isn't fit to fill my diaper. What are you working on now? Well, I'm trying some more experimental things. You know, those spoken word pieces, hip-hop, some, some found percussion, you know... And no more of that crusty old songs about trains nonsense. Gosh, no. Uh, my new piece is going to be called uh, Meet Me on the Maglev. Keep on rocking, Glenn. Whee! Nuh -uh. well, I'm sure they've already heard it. No, ever since they're brisk, these guys don't give tips. I need to use that on the surfboard to show my stuff. I'm gonna take another crack at that surfboard. The sun was in my eyes. No way! Hot day! You wrote that thing like Marion Davies at the Hearst Castle. Now do it with me on your head! Not unless one of the babies lets you borrow his diaper. You're too easily startled. How about that, Hoffa? Didn't drop a single bottle. Impressive, I must admit. All right, all right, you're in. You're lucky I'm very thirsty. Now get me a drink. It's a glass of that diaper rash drink. Thank you. Our little man's going to need changing! Try it and I'll shoot off both your paws. Let's take in some sights. Or vice versa. Take a listen to this. Oh, is it another of Glenn Miller's recordings? I've probably already heard it. It's the hot new sound that's sweeping the nation! Crank it up, Sam! Hmm, this isn't bad. It's got a good beat. It could do without the train sound, but the rest, it's downright toe-tapping. What is that enchanting whistling sound? Abe! Are you even listening to me? Want to hear something funny? Glenn Miller recorded a new song. That seems more sad than funny. Want to listen to a new Glenn Miller song? Yeah, I love Glenn Miller. Sorry, didn't catch that.
have another listen to this new hit. This sandwich sure does look delicious. Hmm, anybody have any malt vinegar? Have another listen to this new hit. It's the Fountain of Youth. It's a glass of water from the Fountain of Youth. Drink it all, little buddy. All the good youth is at the bottom. Well, did it work? I guess so. I think your music sucks and I want to stay out all night. You already do that, Chowderhead. Now let's hurry up before our voices start changing. This makes me want to go potty. Lame. That's so stupid. Do you feel any different, Max? I want to run around and play and break stuff. So, no then. This place is dumb. I know you are. We'd better go while we're still young, Max. This stuff doesn't last long. You turn around and next thing you know, they're going off to college. If you start singing, is this the child I carry, I'll punch you in the face real hard. Do you feel any different, Max? I want to run around and play and break stuff. So, no then. This junk is radical. I saw it first. This junk is radical. I saw it first. Hey, Max, the island's got wood. <laughs> You're scary looking. Did you know you got a big mole on your face? Are you wrinkly because you're old or because you worry about a lot of stuff? Did you mean not to grow a mustache or was it a shaving accident? You do realize I could crush you both, right? What are you guys doing? Were you... kissing? Ew! Sybil and Lincoln sitting on the sand. Sucking face because he ain't got hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, Abe. What do you say we never ever have children? Couldn't agree more. As if. Hey, my friend Max bet me a quarter that you can't make it lightning again. I'm having three kids. You can't tell us what to do. You're not our real father. <laughs> Max said the volcanoes were cool and you were stupid for wanting to stop it. And when I told him to shut up, he pulled out a gun and shot at me. Nuh-uh, Sam started it! Look, I'm not good with kids. Can I just give you some money or something to make you go away? My best friend Max has something very important to say to you. <laughs> Boobies! <laughs> Whatever! Bang! You're dead! No take-backs! Nothing to do! Bang! Bang! Stop it! Pow! Pow! Pachoo! Pachoo! Bang! You're dead! No take-backs! Nuh-uh! Do-over! Bang! You're dead! No take-backs! Nuh-uh! Do-over! What happened, Sam? I feel a sudden urge to vote Republican! We're not as young as we used to be, Max. The fountain's effects wear off quickly. What's left of Noah's Ark? It's the Fountain of Youth.
to youth. No kids allowed. Fascist! Hey Max, I wonder if being young means we'll have to take biology again. This just keeps getting better. Isn't it beautiful, with that gentle breeze and that melody in the air? Mmm. Abe? Ever since those heads started talking, you haven't heard one word I've said! Right. What? Oh, I mean, did they talk? I, I hadn't noticed. So anyway, for our next vacation, Hey, Wendy. We... Sybil, I mean, Sybil. Have you ever thought about getting some surgery done? What? I was thinking, if you had your nose stretched out some, maybe squared off the head a little, you'd look fantastic. Not that you don't look nice now, of course. That is it! You've done nothing but stare at her this entire time! Come on, I'm a man. I'm not made of stone. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean, all right. You're just in a mood. No, I'm not! I will long remember what you said here, and I will never forget what you did here. I just can't believe you'd insult me like this! And on my birthday! Did somebody say, birthday? Olé! <laughs> wow. And again, I forget to bring my video camera. Things didn't go so well with Sybil, huh? Eh, she was cramping my style anyway. So, Miss Moai, how are you doing? Get bent, beardy. Fair enough. Want us to put in a good word for you with Sybil? Nah, I've still got a shot with the locals. Not even after another thousand years. Wow, I haven't seen rejection on that scale since I whomped you in the last election. Maybe it's not too late to make it up to Sybil. I don't know, Sam. He really screwed the pooch on that one. She'll come back. They always do. Mary Todd, Sybil, the South, they just can't stay away from the L-Man. Still enjoying the island, Mr. Lincoln? Oh, God, I'm so lonely. What's left of Noah's Ark? Now that's an odd feeling. Hey, what gives? The Fountain of Youth water is gone. Have you been sneaking into my inventory again, Max? Don't blame me if you're having trouble holding your water. Stupid magic water evaporates if it gets too far away from the fountain. That's damned inconvenient. Whee! It's the fountain of youth. It's empty. Thank you. Hmm. This tastes familiar. I can't place exactly where... Oh, wait. I remember. Sorry, Max. 
I know you were getting attached to the little guy, but it's for the good of the island. Attached to who? Oh, right! Did he leave his gun? Anybody home? We're here to fix your volcano god! Interlopas! You dare violate our most sacred sanctuary! You're all in danger. The volcano's going to erupt. I don't like how their tentacles move. You threaten defeat! You must answer to our leader, the High Priest! Mighty Kamehameha doing donuts in a splintered paddle boat. Look, Max, it's the spectral form of Mr. Spatula. That's just our dead goldfish! Gus! Blasphemy! Anger, High Priest! Oh, mighty one! What be the punishment? High Priest has spoken! You to be executed! Now hang on! What you have say for self? You can't execute us. We're the freelance police. Killing us would bring down the wrath of legions of fans and licensors. Not to mention the ASPCA. We no like killing. Speak for self. But we must act on will of High Priest. He our only can do it to mighty feet. Think about what you're doing. You seem like a fairly reasonable group of... Uh... What are you anyway? We are the Underfoot, protectors of the sacred home of Ranakao, the Volcano God. The air breeders call us Ocean Chimps. We no like that name. Your High Priest is a false prophet. That very serious claim to make... Could make us lose tax-exempt status. How you back it up? With a fillet knife and some sushi rice. KILL THEM! We know that imposter is lying because Max is the true High Priest. Hmm, he does have feet. Maybe Shula's dog speaks the truth. Look, we ancient civilization that worship giant feet who speak to us through Ghostfish, High Priest. We're not gullible. If White One with Mouth truly is High Priest, he prove it by fulfilling the ancient prophecies. I bet there are three of them. He knows our ancient traditions. Maybe he really is the chosen one. Ancients say that an outsider will be anointed by the feet. The feet will recognize him. And he will perform great miracle to feed his people. What was water becomes delicious treat. And the island itself will show us the face of the true high priest. He appears before us in the living rock. Explain this whole anointed by the feet business. The great feet speak to us through the high priest. The outsiders stand under the great feet. They move to show they accept him. How does Max get anointed by the feet again? He stand under the great feet. If he true high priest, the feet move to show they accept him. What kind of miracle are you guys looking for? Prophecy say, the High Priest feed us all by turning water to banang. Banang! Banang! Banang? A delicious banana flavor drink that fortified with essential vitamins and minerals. Niacin! Riboflavin! What miracle were we supposed to perform again? Prophecy say, the High Priest feed us all by turning water to Banang. What do you mean about the island showing his true face? Prophecy say, image of true High Priest will appear to us in the cavern. That prove our High Priest is the one. Look! You mean that image of Max? What? You crazy! That no look anything like Max! Max have two ears! That just a seashell. Rock next to it look exactly like High Priest though! It miracle! Give me the rundown on the island showing his true face again. 
prophecies say. Image of true high priest will appear to us in the cavern. We see image of high priest in that rock formation over there, next to the seashell. All that is Max, in a nutshell. We believe it when we see it. We're fair people. We give you until sundown. You prove White One is High Priest, and we no kill you. So let me get this straight. You worship feet? Yes, the great feet that hang over us always. The ways of the world are written in the toes. The first toe go into the world to bring food to his people, while the second watch over his people always. One go to market, one stay home. The third teach us to appreciate bounty of nature, while the fourth teach us purity of the fast. One have roast beef, one have none. And when the end times come, the fifth toe return to deliver his people home to paradise. Wee wee wee! All, All the way, way home. home! Well, I don't like to brag, but you know, I've got feet. We know. That's the only reason we not kill you yet. Maybe Shura's dog is the chosen one. No, he walks among them, but he is not one of them. His foot is incomplete. Oh my god, Sam, they're right! You've only got three toes! That's disgusting! I can't believe I never noticed that before! How come you guys never looked as good in real life as you do in the ads? Our young, very delicate, require perfect conditions to grow. Yeah, we only reach full size when raised by children whose parents truly love them. Wait, before you talk, we have question. How you air breathers survive down here? I had the forethought to use bubble wrap and crazy straws to fashion my tie into a stylish and nearly imperceptible aqualong. And I'm amphibious! Sure, it got me teased a lot in school, but as it turns out, it's pretty useful. We want to get Max anointed up. Okay, we humor you. Oh, mighty feet, give us a sign! Do you recognize this white stranger as your servant? Nothing! Give it a minute. The feet just don't recognize me without the mustache. You waste our time! Feet say you not high priest! We killed him now? No. We must wait for sundown. So, let's see where we are. In order to stop the giant volcano from erupting and destroying the island above us and everyone on it, we need to usurp the office and powers of the High Priest of the Underfoot, who happens coincidentally to be our pet goldfish, Vice President Spatula, mysteriously returned from the dead. Did I miss anything? They want to kill us at sundown! Right, I keep forgetting. So, let's see where we are. In order to stop the, the island of Underfoot, who happens mysteriously returned from the dead. They want to kill us at- Right, I- I notice we seem to be able to breathe underwater for some reason. You're breathing? I like it down here. No mosquitoes. Yeah, but I think I just swallowed some krill. It was mildly unpleasant. I've got a kind of a funny taste in my mouth. I think they're chlorinating the oceans now. Let's talk more later. More than what? It's some kind of ceremonial urn. We eat ritual food from there! Like still beating hearts of victims! Or party mix! I don't know if I'd worship these guys, but they do have a lot of soul. Even if we could reach them, I don't think they're ticklish. It's a gong for summoning one of those gold Bermuda Triangles. That precariously hanging stalactite looks awfully familiar. It's the entrance to the lava machine. That's only used by High Priest! We're in his entourage. His entourage is just me! Only I can open Magic Door! 
Looks like the pressure's building. We've got to turn it off. Looks like some kind of master control lever. That magic push to talk phone lets you talk to Volcano God. Only High Priest get to use it. It's the crown of the High Priest. I like how they've taken the foot-oriented ministry and just run with it. It's that sea snail's disgusting red residue. It's an incontinent sea snail. I hope that's red ink and not something else. The world beneath the sea is both wondrous and completely disgusting. Max? I was hungry! Whee! Hey, it's our missing bowling ball, Lou. I'd assumed he'd gone on strike. <laughs> Comments like that are yet another reason you need to get me that harpoon gun. Wow, we really are off course, vanished, set adrift, and disoriented. But what does it all mean, Sam? I don't feel like waiting around for years to find out. Hey, Max, keep on the lookout for rogue polar bears. I always do! Hmm, the plane's radio still seems to be working. Hello? Hello? Is anybody out there? Attention, Charlie, India, Oscar, one zero one seven two zero zero six. Tora, Tora, Tora. Ah, great stuff, Jim. Marcy, have you seen my flight jacket? You're listening to Get the Let Out Weekend on one zero seven point seven KSAM. KSAM, Easter Island. And we're back for Max and S-Dog in the morning. Let's skip the small talk, Sam, and get straight to the pranks and racial slurs. We are observing your Earth, and we'd like to make a contact with you, baby. Over and out. Hmm, some interesting seaside reading. Is it piloting for imbeciles? Nope. The Desperately Lonely Traveler's Guide to Easter Island. For the most relaxing trip on Easter Island, bring plenty of basalt. It's a mind-altering substance for the Moai that helps them tune in, turn on, and drop out. Crates full of video games about crates. Another one of nature's horrifying wonders. Now I gotta agree with the chimps, Sam. That looks nothing like me. Whee! Eerily accurate, right down to the finely sculpted hangnails. That precariously hanging stalactite looks awfully familiar. Our guns don't work underwater. Reason 976 to get me that harpoon gun. I doubt they're thirsty. No, they're all on low-carb diets.
Hiya, Stinky. What? Oh. Um, what are you guys doing? Uh, red improves digestion. Don't try to argue with Feng Shui, Stinky. It's science. I never really expected that to work. Paranormal entities are dumb and gullible. That's so stupid. As if. Hey, Mr. Paper, what you doing? Trust me, kid. You don't want to get inside Flint Paper's world. I've seen things. He means naked ladies. Stay in drugs, don't do school, I don't know. Just leave the grown-ups alone, capiche? Flint Paper is material not suitable for younger audiences. Lame. That's so stupid. Whee! Hello, Miss Stinky. What do you boys want? Do you have money to pay? Drop the attitude, lady. I'm the president. Max! President's adorable nephew here for a visit. Well, since I know the president personally, I guess it's okay. What's your order? A bowl of oyster smacks. Half an orange, a poached egg, and beet juice. And I want a bowl of algae bits, because they make the milk turn green. Yeah, I don't have any of that. A double martini with an absinthe chaser. Served on a stack of porno mags. This is a setup, right? Pretty much everything we say generally is, yes. We like the special. You're in luck, boys. I've got one already made. One basalt sandwich coming up. Aren't you gonna cut the crusts off? I've, um, misplaced my knife. You probably left it in the real Stinky's body. It's an honest mistake. Oh, that's silly, you little rascals. <laughs> now run along and play before I call child services. Have you seen our parents? I gotta make duty real bad. I heard them laughing as they started the car. Can we live with you now? Stinky's is closed, kids. Go run and play in traffic. You're a mean old lady. Get lost. You're scary looking. Did you know you got a big mole on your face? Are you wrinkly because you're old or because you worry about a lot of stuff? Did you mean not to grow a mustache or was it a shaving accident? You do realize I could crush you both, right? are observing your Earth. What? We have come at last. Prepare to meet your doom. I knew it. I'm ready for you suckers to just try and find me. 
We heard that, Bosco. We are not amused. I'm all bowled out. Want a delicious basalt sandwich? I can't eat those. I get too paranoid. This sandwich sure does look delicious. <laughs> Want a delicious sandwich? I can't. I'm going swimming later. Whee! Hey look, we got you a mouth-watering basalt sandwich. Basalt? Hmm, it's been a while. What about the rabbity guy? Is he cool? More or less. All right, quick, before my carvers get back. Oh man, that is some kind basalt. Dude, don't bogart the sandwich! Oh man, it's like I can taste colors! Get a load of Cheech over here, Max. He's lit up like an arsonist birthday cake. <laughs> no way, Sam! It's been like five seconds! He can't be that much of a lightweight! Oh yeah? Watch. Sorry, sir. We just accidentally killed your puppy. <laughs> You crack me up, little dude. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey, you guys want to order a pizza? Well, what if we're like all dreaming now, and what we think is a dream is really reality? That would explain why I'm always showing up at places with no clothes on. <laughs> dude. Oh, wait, what? Hello. Hi there. <laughs> dude. Oh, wait, what? Peace out. Later, dudes. Not happening. Nah. Think Bosco would mind if we helped ourselves to some banane? Good question. Another good question. One can or two? One should be plenty. Whee! Hi, you stinky. What? Oh. It finally shook loose.
It's my trusty sidekick, Lou. Mmm, Banang Powder Drink Mix. An eerily familiar stalactite from the Ocean Chimp's cave. Make sure you get my good side, Sam. You have a good side? Look, over here. It's an image of the true high priest, Max. How'd that get there? Look just like him. It uncanny. That appeared completely out of nowhere. Mighty feet. Show us face of true high priest. But you still not satisfy all three prophecies. Rules very explicit on this. Show us two more and we're convinced. Hello, chimps. Dead dog walking. Let's get Max anointed again. Oh, mighty feet, give us a sign. Do you recognize this white stranger as your servant? Praise to the true high priest. Look! Feet move! He must be High Priest! Uh-huh, that's right. Bring the love. Good to see you too, Mighty Feet. Sign is clear. Mighty Feet, anoint you as High Priest. Give blessing. But you're still not High Priest yet. Most satisfy final prophecy. Hey chimps, watch as High Priest Max performs a great miracle. Oh mighty feet, hear my command! What was once water, make flavorful drink for my people! What was once colorless, make yellow! That not impressive. What was once without sustenance, make enriched with calcium, which is something our bodies need anyway! Just get on with it, Max. Eureka! Banang! 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 Eat like a party in the moat! Eat miracle! Mighty feet grant you great power! Prophecies are fulfilled! Defeat have spoken! True High Priest has returned! People of the feet, all shall love me and despair! No time for that now, little buddy. High Priest, take rightful place on altar! We've got to get up there and stop that volcano. So wait, we still get to kill them now, yes? No! Now we deal with imposter! Phony so-called high priest, what have you to say for self? Yeah, what gives, Mr. Spatula? I thought we were pals. He say pals? Ha ha ha! Then he spit derisively. Now he say, me welcome death, better than suffer tyranny of imprisonment on stale fish flakes. I knew I should have taken him for more walks. I blame myself. I blame you too. Now he say, you think you won Simon Max. You really just step in trap. I send triangle to summon you here, and you stupid primitives to waste your time. We not primitive. We have cell phones! They say, now you're too late to stop Volcano! Fascist oppressor Sam and Max get herbal tea and foot rubs once and for all! Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Does this thing go any faster? Now he say, that not what I said at all! Me confused, not herbal tea and foot rubs, rain of fire and drowning magma. I always mix those up. should've taken the express pod. Now he say, Come, Sam and Max. Come to your doom. In my spectral form, I am invincible. Ha ha, ha ha, ha 
Now he say, my medallion, no, cannot be. What world? What world? Take him to the sacrificial toilet bowl. No time, Max. We're too late to stop the volcano. What do we do? The volcano could erupt at any moment. It's too late. The volcano's already going to erupt. Now what? Let's go up to the island and check out the devastation. Maybe shoot some looters. Let's talk more later. It says, in case of emergency. Press it, Sam! Press it! I suppose now's as good a time as any. Hmm, I wonder what that did. What? Nothing more we can do here, Max. Let's go up top and check out the situation. What? Hey, look! I had the parking brake on that whole time. Whoops. It's the official signet of the Ocean Chimp's High Priest. Don't I get to wear it? We don't have a chain long enough to fit around your enormous head, chum. Let's talk more later. It's the High Priest's octagonal medallion. It's the High Priest's octagonal medallion. It's the Ocean Chimp's ceremonial feeding urn. No time to chat now. The volcano's about to erupt. Bloody-nosed Euclid doing the Eucharist on a nitro-burning catamaran. That's the second biggest Bermuda Triangle I've ever seen. Seems to be spinning out of control, too. Well, there goes our only way home. I fail to see how this is helpful in an emergency. This is it. The volcano is about to explode. Bogus. Help us, Sam and Mac. Well, the volcano's about to blow, and it's pointed right at us. Explain to me again why we don't just go home and eat popcorn while this stupid island boils away into vapor? One of us has a conscience? Oh, jeez. It's not me, is it? Let's take in some sights. Or vice versa. No time to chat now. The volcano's about to erupt. Hope there's nobody on the other side of that triangle. I don't care. Uh, you said it, dude, bro. You've done it. You've broken the prophecy. You've saved our ancient civilization from destruction. Hooray! So sweet thing. Now that's over with.
Let's say you and I find somewhere private to get sedimentary. Yeah, I think we should spend some time apart. Your loss. Can I get a ride with you guys? Our portal back home is gone. We're gonna have to swim! Do you float, Mr. Lincoln? Only one way to find out. I get to ride on his dewlap! You can only call that once we get in the water. I guess we just sit here for another few thousand years. That sucks. Dude, 